I've lived in Sweden for the past 25 years, and I just realized I haven't shared with you guys some of the Swedish habit that has changed my life. In this video, I'm going to share with you my experience. Hopefully, you will find this experience interesting. My name is Esti. I am a Singaporean living in Sweden. Here are the Swedish habits that I have adapted. The first thing I do in the morning is to clean my toilet. Maybe some of you might find this very gross or very strange, but let me assure you, this habit is a game changer. I often start my day by making the bed and cleaning my bathroom. I like to enjoy a fresh, clean bathroom to start a brand new day. This hygiene routine like scrubbing the toilet isn't glamorous but it is good for you and here is why study has shown that even short bursts of exercise can boost up your mood reduce anxiety and improve mental health and when you are washing toilet like every day you will feel humble it gives you the sense of accomplishment and it is also very satisfying and uplifting if you go to a sweet home, they are often very clean in the toilet and now I understand why. As you are scrubbing the toilet, you are actually focused on a task at hand. You are not thinking about work, what you have to do today or anything else that might stress you out. Instead, you are in this moment paying attention of the movement of your hand and the sound of scrubbing against the porcelain. This kind of mindfulness can be incredibly calming and quite centering. It is also a form of self-care. It is like creating this space that makes you feel welcoming and relaxing. And by minimizing the spread of germs and bacteria, you can well feel proud of yourself and doing something that is really good for both your body and your mind. Organizing. There's something smoothing about organizing and tidying up your surrounding. And when you are creating a sense of order to some people, it's a way to distress, creating a very welcoming space where you could relax and enjoy. Clearing away clutter allows your brain to focus on the items and the tasks one at a time and it also regulates your emotion. And it's also an act of cleaning that requires you to slow down. This can offer you a calming effect during the overwhelming situation and help you to explore and manage your emotion. Nowadays, when I feel all stressed out, I need to reorganize my room. So LG always complain, hey, why you always change here and there? And of course, I said it is for the better, isn't it? Moving your body. LG often say, as long as you are moving, that's all that matters. I can't help but noticing Swedish people are often mentally and physical fit. They often find time at work or after work to go on a gym, going for a short or long walk and having a very active life. When I was living in Singapore, I would find it's very hard to find time to exercise because it's too hot and most people already feel so exhausted after a hard day work. We've got energy and time to exercise, right? When you are tired and exhausted, the more you need to do exercise. By exercising, it helps you to connect with your body, make you feel stronger, more flexible, and it also help to release the endorphin. Well, this endorphin will help you to release stress. Don't do exercise because other people ask you to do it. Do it because you want to feel even better after that. Think and talk positively. We all heard that all the time. In Sweden, that's like the only way to survive and be happy. Swedish people are very mindful, reserved, and they are mostly relaxed. 
uh, they are proud but yet humble and some of them are the most happiest people on this planet. You will also notice uh, that sweet don't like to discuss about unhappy or negative things. If you start complaining or talking negatively, they will either change subject or they move away from you. If you didn't stop complaining, some of the people who are really wise, they will give you some advice. They will try to make you see things more positively and encourage you with kind words. They often say that that loves the saying. It means it will be fine later. When you speak or think positively, you attract positive results. Your brain is just like a magnet. You attract whatever things that you are thinking. So it means to say if you are negative, you only attract the negative things and the negative people. In Chinese philosophy, yeah, thinking positively brings good luck. Next, start recycle. Swedish people will respect you more if you buy second hand. This means that you care about the environment and practice zero waste. In Singapore, if you buy second hand, some people will think, hey, you got no money. Uh, or even they look down on you thinking that you are poor. At the beginning, I find that uh, recycle for me, it's quite difficult because I find it's very time consuming. You need to clean those bottles and cans before you could dispose them, right? After doing this for so many years, I find that this has become my habit. In fact, I feel more happy to do that these days. I even come to extend by keeping some of the recycled items for my own use. For example, decorating. A researcher found that those people who recycle are actually having a more sustainable practice and it's actually making them more happier. For example, buying secondhand clothes are very popular this day because it is much cheaper uh, usually the quality is better and it is fun and it's nicer and the clothes are special and you don't have to wear the same clothes like H&M like in Sweden everybody having this H&M so you are wearing something unique Normally I often buy them from a charitable organization because the money goes to the needy this gives you a sense of purpose and having this sense of purpose is essential for your mental health because you know that you're doing something really good. Make time and have fun in your life. Sweet, they like to do fun stuff. They know to enjoy life. If all you do is work, attend household responsibility, it is easy to get into rot negativity you will probably feel there's nothing for you to look forward to and life therefore can be less fun instead find some time to squeeze in some pressurable activities this might be just spending 15 minutes per day reading watching a funny movie laughing and maybe just take a few minutes in the evening to just watch sunset if you don't have a hobby, maybe it's time to start a new hobby, learn some new thing or skill, and it's for free. You can learn everything, anything from YouTube. I often include these fun activities in my daily life. It is not just only making me happier and also feel very excited when I get out of my bed every morning. Fika is a typical Swedish tradition where they take time out of your day to pause whether you are at home or you are at work by enjoying a cup of coffee or hot chocolate and some snacks with people or just alone. Sweet usually take two Fika break in a day, once in the mid-morning and one in the late afternoon, about 3 p.m. Some people even do it in the evening. I know this sounds strange, but hear me out. This habit took me many, many years to understand the fundamental of it. In Singapore, you never heard about fika at work. Uh, just lunch break because time is money for employers. Why does employers advise uh, employees to do that? Because fika 
will give the employees a better state of mind and become more productive. For me, being an Asian, I try to avoid eating cakes and cookies because that would make me fat. So instead of th doing that, I have a fruit or maybe have some, you know, crackers that are salty. Take a break. Whatever things that you are doing, you will find that these breaks will benefit you and improve your quality of life and mental health and lifestyle on a long term. Let me know if you enjoy this video. I hope to see you in my next. Bye-bye.